Hello, my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to yet another interesting news. European Union tell FG to extradite Simon Epa and release him the can to end the seat at home. Eastern Union, a body championing political emancipation of all Eastern region on Thursday, urged the Southeast Governor Forum to diplomatically extradite Simon Epa from Finland to restore all of good governance in the Southeast region of the country. Simon Epa, who is a self styled Prime Minister of the Biafran Republic, government in exile, is succeeded in Amdekano as a leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP and had since fallen apart with Kano and IPOP over allegations and not taking orders from Kano, as well as declaring incentives sit at home orders in the southeast. Although Namdukano has disowned Simon Epa in his handwritten letter, which was made public on the 24th of July, in a noble state through his special counsel by Mr. Olio Eji Mako, European, Nas- European Union National President Charles Aniki told reporters in a noble that IPOP should be- has been had been hijacked. He said the terrorists who disguise themselves as freedom fighters have already crippled the economy of the Southeast. Aniki advised the federal government to obey the Court of Appeal ruling in October last year, which dis- discharged and acquitted Kanu. We record that Mazo Indian and the Khan, the leader of the North people of Biafra, is currently in the custody of the Department of State Services, DSS, in Abuja. Mazi Oyindu and Amda Kano, who is a British Nigerian political activist who advocates for the secession of the secession and independence of Biafra from the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, which he founded in 2014. The main aim of the indigenous people of Biafra is to restore the separated states of Biafra, which existed in Nigeria's eastern region during the Nigerian Civil War of 1967 to, 90, 1967 to 1970. As the director of a United Kingdom registered radio station, station named Radio Biafra, Mazo in the Namdekan propagated Biafra separatism. Mazin Amdekan was arrested on treason charges in Lagos, Nigeria, on the 14th of October 2015 and was detained for, a, for more than a year despite various court orders that has ruled for his release. When in court, Mazin Amdekan appeared regularly wearing a Jewish prayer shawl and had COVID. He said in court that he believes in Judaism and considers himself a Jew and oftentimes has led his Biafran people to various Jewish prayers and religious observations. On the 28th of April 2017, Mazo Indian was released from prison on bail. After jumping bail, after jumping bail and fleeing abroad, Mazo Indian played a major part in the insurgency in the southeastern Nigeria as the Nigerian security forces attempted to squash the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP and Brink, the Eastern Security Network resulting in a low-level conflict in early 2021. Despite the fighting, Mazin Abdukanu maintained that the indigenous people of Biafra was interested in a peaceful solution and achieving Biafra independence without violence or harm. In June 2021, the, the, the uh, was arrested by Interpol and handed over to Nigeria. In December 2022, Mazin Abdukanu announced that the indigenous people of Biafra had organized the Eastern Security Network, which was supposed to defend southeastern Nigeria from bandits and armed Fulani elders. Mazarin and Amdekano was later gave, later gave all these governors of southeast Nigeria for 10 days to ban open grazing, threatening to deploy the Eastern Security Network to enforce a ban if the authorities did not do so. The Nigerian government regard, regarded the formation of a non state sanctioned paramilitary organization as unacceptable and moved to suppress the group. The situation escalated in January 2021 when the Nigerian military was repelled in an attempt to expel the Eastern Security Network from Olu Imo State. Before another offensive was launched, Mass Foundation of the Kano ordered the Eastern Security Network to withdraw to the bush, temporarily ending the confrontation. The Nigerian Army and Air Force renewed hostilities on the 18th of February by launching a military offensive against the Eastern Security Network. The next day, the indigenous people of Biafra declared that as of the 18th of February, a state of war has existed between Nigeria and Biafra. 
the news before Biafra and other Biafra separatist groups consequently began to mobilize and fight the security forces across several southern Nigerian states. Despite this, Mazin and the Kanu maintained that the indigenous people of Biafra was interested in a non violent solution of, co- of the conflict and the Eastern Security Network was supposed to fight bandits, not the Nigerian security forces. Regardless, Nigerian authorities designated indigenous people of Biafra as a terrorist organization and claimed that Mazin and the Kanu was inciting violence. On the 27th of June 2021, Namdekanu was arrested in Kenya. Kanu brother claimed that he was being arrested by the Kenyan police. Mazi Indian Namdekanu's arrest has sparked anger among Biafran separatists and all Nigerian supporters to his cause. The World Book Congress declared the arrest illegal abduction and international gangsterism. Following his arrest, questions had been raised over what was termed Kanu disregard of the Nigerian constitution to abscond bail in 2017. On the occasion of his arraignment in court on the 29th of June 2021, Inamdekano told the President of Georgia the Nigerian military forced him to flee the country in 2017. The trial began on October, in October 2021 with Inamdekano being accused of terrorism, treason, involvement with a banned separatist movement, exciting public violence, through radio broadcast and defamation of the Nigerian authorities through broadcast. He pleaded not guilty on in all cases. The proceedings were accompanied by protests and general strike observed and organized by the e supporters. On the 19th of January 2022, Justice Benson Anya of the Abia State High Court ruled that the 2017 arrest of the indigenous people of Biafra leader, Mazi Indian was unlawful and an infringement of his human rights, and that his abduction and forced return to Nigeria was illegal under local international laws. I also ruled that the Nigerian government should pay Mazi Indian a sum of one billion naira as a compensation for the violation of his fundamental human rights. Despite this ruling, Mazi Indian has remained under arrest and the trial continued as the other charges were still discussed and prosecutors added further charges. He gave me a young researcher at a political risk analysis firm argued that an ultimate conviction of Minam Khan remains likely as the political as the political will exist to make an example of a separatist leader who has caused the central government more than its fair share of edicts. Now be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts and your opinion in the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news. Bye for now.